Hi, this is Dr. Barry Leica. I'm here to talk to you today about some of the newest and exciting things in cosmetic surgery today. This is what the show is all about. New things for you, so you can get the best information on cosmetic surgery, so you can make informed decisions for your cosmetic surgery procedure. Today we're going to be talking about cellulite. Cellulite is a very, very, very common problem. We understand that between 80 and 85 percent of women have cellulite and another 20 percent of people think they have cellulite. I know that's just a little bit of a joke, but you'll understand it as we talk about this a little bit more. Now there's many, many misconceptions about cellulite that I'm here to talk to you about. Number one, the first misconception about cellulite is that only fat people get cellulite. Well, that's not true. We know that from looking at the tabloids. Some of the famous stars that you see have cellulite. Britney Spears, for example, whether you love her or hate her, she has a lot of cellulite. Look at her recent pictures. You'll find that there's cellulite there. Another person that's extremely thin who has cellulite is a person by the name of Misha Barton. She has some of the worst cellulite on the planet. And Sharon Stone, an actress I really re admire, has a lot of cellulite. Now some of these people are very thin, but Queen Latifah, who is a bit on the heavy side, also has cellulite. So cellulite is not just a problem of people being obese. It's a problem of people that, have other, that are otherwise thin. They eat properly, they diet properly, yet they have the same problem that many of you have. Another misconception about cellulite is that you can literally exercise it away. That if you get on a magic exercise routine, the cellulite will vanish and it'll be gone forever. Unfortunately, that's not true. Cellulite, unfortunately, I've seen in some top athletes. I've seen it in marathon runners. I've seen it in people that exercise four to six hours a day. Cellulite is much more than that. In fact, we think it's a genetic problem. And there's many things that go on with that, and we'll be discussing that in a few minutes. A third thing about cellulite is that there is no magic food that will take cellulite away once and for all. Cellulite just doesn't respond to any particular diet. Yes, if you're healthy and diet and exercise properly, cellulite will be less of a problem but it still is a major problem despite all this. A fourth thing that people say is cellulite is just due to extra fatty tissue. Well, we know there's much, much more going on with that. In fact, it's a structural problem of the skin. And we'll go through that in a little bit of detail in the, in the next few minutes. But it's important that you realize that cellulite is not just due to fat. That's why we have so much problem treating it, because people have the misconceptions about it. A fifth thing people seem to, it seems that there is, people understand more than anything else, is a magic cream will take it away. I mean, that's been going on for a while. Nivea invented a cream called Goodbye Cellulite, and on a show called The Tara Banks Show, they had a special contest where they showed that this cream will take away cellulite. Well, it does it temporarily. And so it's not the answer once and for all for cellulite, but it can help. The last thing people say about cellulite is all I have to do is go to an esthetician and they can take it away forever. One treatment and it'll be gone. Well, unfortunately, that's not true either. It takes a number of treatments to help keep it away, but we have some new things that people will be very, very excited about. Okay. I'm Dr. Barry Leica, talking to you about the newest and best things in cosmetic surgery today, your inside source of information. Thank you. Talk to you soon. We'd like to give you a copy of our free special report, Six Proven Methods on How to Look and Feel Younger in 30 Days. We'll email it to you immediately.